Hey everybody, it's George Foshim, Call Realty Best, Palos Verdes Homes, and that's uh, the beginning of the month, September 1st today. Uh, and we have here another uh, real estate report for what in the heck things are doing in real estate and what's supply and demand like? Where is the market going? Are we in a real estate bubble? Is the market going to correct? Will home prices continue to appreciate? Um, who knows? But we've got some clues. So go to palosverdeshomesbest.com, um, click on blog, and you'll see my August 31st post in the first position, depending, of course, on when you're going to look at this site. Um, so you may have to scroll down a little bit to find it if you don't see it in first position here. And then uh, click on that. So uh, let's take a look at a couple of things that are going on. Uh, what we can tell, first of all, is that uh, the number of days of unsold inventory certainly has increased. There was 199 days of unsold inventory in Palos Verdes Estates this time last year uh, for the period of time, uh, March 1st, uh, 2021 uh, through August 31st, 2021. So that six month period of time compared to the same six month period of time now, uh, we went from 199 days of unsold inventory to 278. That's going to put a little bit of pressure on prices. And if we look at it for the Palos Verdes Peninsula, same sort of a trend. More days on market, or not uh, days on market, but more unsold inventory uh, days than uh, previous uh, six month period. Same for the entire South Bay. Uh, so, you know, across the board, uh, we're finding that to be true. Interestingly, though, in Rolling Hills Estates, that number actually dropped from the from the uh, period of time, uh, the six month period of time before, you can see that again for PVE, let's look at this again, an increase year to year and an increase over the prior six month period of time. So same thing for the peninsula as a whole, same thing for the South Bay as a whole, same thing for Rancho PV, but not for Rolling Hills Estates, things actually improved. Uh, between February and July versus March and August. That's interesting. Don't know why exactly. And same thing for behind the gates in Rolling Hills. But what have prices done? Prices are up about 12.74% on a gross square footage level, up about 14% on a dollar per square foot. Now, of course, if you've been watching these videos in the past, you would have seen numbers like 20% increases. So the rate at which properties are appreciating has slowed, but properties are still appreciating in value. Uh, sale volume down a whole bunch. Uh, you, there's other charts that I have here that you can take a look at. And then as you uh, scroll down further, uh, by the way, this video that I'm doing now will uh, substitute in here, but here's the actual data. Um, and if you'd like help in understanding uh, the data that I'm putting out here, just you know, give me a call, actually go up to this contact us link right here, click on that, then click here, click here to contact George, give your name, uh, mobile number, email, under subject, write something like, George, I have no idea what you're talking about, call me, uh, and then any message, and I'll, uh, and I'll do that for you. So let's go back to the blog, there we go. Uh, so let's take uh, Palos Verdes Estates as an example. So here you see the two identical six-month periods of time separated by a year. So we keep seasonality out, out of it. What has supply done? Supply has dropped. The new listing volume dropped almost 17%. Well, that's good for sellers, right? If you're competing against fewer uh, homeowners. But what's not so great is that the amount of pending sales, that dropped up bunch, 40%. So supply is down, but demand is down a whole bunch more. What did that do? That made an increase of 39% in the number of days of unsold inventory. So, you know, you can track that for the different areas uh, that I uh, uh, that I research, Peninsula as a whole, Greater South Bay as a whole, RPV, Rolling Hills Estates, and Rolling Hills. Um, when you're down here at the bottom, though, 
take a minute and fill out this survey, would you? I'd like to get your opinion on where you think prices will be a year from now. Will they be up 5% or more? Down 5% or more? About the same? Um, really would appreciate if you filled that out and uh, I'll keep you posted on uh, what the consensus is. Um, and uh, let's see, five minutes now into this video, I think that's enough time. Talk to you later. Bye.